Welcome back. Today I'm going to show how to make some quinoa pilaf or quinoa pulao. For this you need one cup of quinoa soaked two to three hours. You need mixed veggies of your choice. You can use frozen or fresh. About one tablespoon of sunflower and pumpkin seeds. Now I've taken these from a salad topper bag and some cranberries for garnish. One medium onion finely chopped. Peel and chop about four to five cloves of garlic. Some salt, turmeric, coriander powder, and red paprika powder. About one teaspoon of cumin seeds, mustard seeds, three to four dried red chilies. About two green chilies and some curry leaves, which is totally optional. And some cooking oil. Go ahead and turn your instant pot on. Turn it on the saute mode and add about two to three tablespoons of oil. Add one teaspoon of cumin seeds, about one tablespoon of mustard seeds, and as your mustard seeds start spluttering, go ahead and add the dried red chilies. Once the dried red chilies start popping up, add your sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, about one tablespoon. You can add a few extra, it doesn't change the taste. And then go ahead and add your chopped onions and finely chopped garlic. Add your green chilies. Now this is also optional if you don't want too much of spices, but we Indians like spice a lot in our food. So I'm gonna add those green chilies. Go ahead and saute them all till the onions become golden brown. And then once the onions are golden brown, you're gonna go ahead and add your mixed veggies. Add about one teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of turmeric, if you wanna keep the yellow color to the lighter side, about one teaspoon of coriander powder mix all the dry spices together so it coats the veggies good make sure the bottom does not burn now you can always adjust your salt i'm going to keep repeating this over and over again you can always adjust salt till the end uh, right before you put the lid on once your spice mix is ready you're going to go ahead and add your drained quinoa make sure you wash after your quinoa is soaked to drain off all the excess water and add the quinoa to your bowl where you have your spice mix cooking. Make sure your quinoa gets coated completely with all the dried spices that you have. And then right at this point, you're gonna go ahead and add about one cup of water. Now remember, because we have soaked the quinoa, we do not need extra water. So one cup of quinoa requires only one cup of water to cook. Take a spoon and make sure all the quinoa is well blended. Make sure everything soaks right into that water. Now you can taste this stock again. This is your final chance to adjust any spice level that you would need, including your salt. And once you have mixed it all well up together, go ahead and put the lid back on and turn on the pressure valve. Turn it on to manual mode for seven minutes. After seven minutes, you will see that your quinoa is perfectly ready, cooked nice and fluffy. Go ahead and decorate it with or garnish it with some cranberries. Now you can use this quinoa pilaf just plain as a replacement for your rice, or you can use it to make your delicious morning brunch or dinner grain bowls. You can top it with your favorite meat and your favorite green salad leaves. Enjoy!